Welcome everybody to week four of the Mark Nofree Head Coaches Show with the head coach, of course, of Sacred Heart, Mark Nofree. The 4-0 Pioneers have a record-setting day at homecoming this past Saturday. 78 points, coach, a school record. 11 touchdowns, a school record. And doing it on every asset of the game, offense, defense, special teams. Homecoming, 2,900 people in the stands. Just tell us your feelings after this record-setting day in front of the home crowd. Well, any, any time you can start the season 4-0, um, you know, it's, it's exciting for us and, uh, you know, it's really where you want to be. You can't get much better than that. Obviously, we talk about it as a team. Starting fast and, uh, you know, finishing the game through four quarters and I think this week we started a little bit slow. Uh, you know, down 14 to nothing with uh, three minutes into the game and everybody's kind of looking around seeing who was going to make that spark to turn the thing around and, and Moses Webb did that for us on the special teams and, you know, once once we got it going and, you know, people started playing hard and the kids started coming out and, you know, making things happen instead of waiting for something to happen. Obviously, within six minutes, we were back on top 22 to 14. And uh, when you can score in all assets of the game in terms, you know, three defensive scores, one special team, and a bunch of offensive scores, that's a great team. You know, that's great for your team. It's, it's just how you want to win games, and you don't get that opportunity every week. Let's uh, talk about special teams. You mentioned Moses Webb with five returns for 156 yards, averaging almost – 32 yards per return, so he put you in great position yeah. uh, to lead the offense. And also Robert Dim, two block punts, uh, two block punts in a game is pretty incredible. It's something uh, you probably haven't seen too many times, if ever, in you your know, career. You know, uh, we talk about it on our special teams being, you know, the punt team, uh, where we're working it quite a bit, saying, listen, a punt block in a game can change the whole momentum of a game. And you know, Robert Dim's been a, a huge asset for us last year on that. Uh, this year, I think last year we had five block punts total in the season, and Robert was, you know, pretty much accounted for most of them. And same thing, he had two the other day, and you see how it changes the game for you in a hurry. Uh, it's a momentum shift. It's uh, it's a real dagger in a team when you can block a punt and then scoop it and score for a touchdown too. And then you add Moses Webb, who gets you in the field position. I think he crossed the 53 times on his kickoff returns, puts you in a great uh, situation with a, you know three or four first downs, and you're within scoring distance. So those are big things for us, and uh, you know we try and win the special teams battle each week. That's one of our goals uh, to win all three phases, but to be great on special teams it makes a difference. And I think that's another reason why we're four and zero right now is with, you know our special teams is clicking with the offense and with the defense, and all three phases are coming together and feeding off one another. R.J. Noel to Tyler Duke. Worked twice for a touchdown and also set up another one. Looked like they really are gelling and on the same page, quarterback and wide receiver. What did you see? Yeah, you know, Tyler. Uh, Tyler's a great football player. You know, I felt bad. He was out all spring. Um, he didn't practice with us this spring at all. He had a surgery and uh, he came back in August ready to go. You know, I saw him over the summer and he was really looking good in terms of, you know, he put some weight on. He was working out. Um, just a great kid, you know, works his butt off, has a lot of talent, has a lot of talent, probably one of the better receivers in terms of running routes and catching the ball that I've seen here in my 20 years. Uh, he's a great receiver, and right now the two of them are clicking, and, uh, you know, they work at it. You know, RJ and him work at it, and uh, they seem to get on the same page, and that offensive line gives Tyler, or gives uh, RJ time to, you know, throw the ball, great protection up front. You know, obviously somebody's going to come open at some point, and so far to, you know, Tyler's been doing a great job stepping up for us. That's the passing game, the running game. The NCAA tweeted out that they love Sacred Heart football style of being able to stop the run and, of course, run the ball yourself. Uh, Sean Bell had that series where it seemed like he just kept getting the ball, kept the ball, and was a workhorse for you getting you down the field. Kashada Spence, of course, doing his thing, uh, so tough to take down. So can you talk a little bit about that old school stop the run and run the ball uh, success that you've had here with your football program. Uh, you know, right now, I don't, you know, old school. I think that's just the formula that everybody uses. Uh, you know, you got to be able to run the ball. Um, and you look at the teams that win championships at, at all different levels in football, and I think that's one of the things that they do great is run the football. And obviously, when you stop the run and you know make teams throw the ball, and you got two good corners, you know that puts you in, in long yard situations, which is good for your defense. And right now, uh, that formula seems to be working for us. And, and you know that's kind of what we hung our head on come January this past year when we changed some things, and you know we made a commitment to the ground game, and you know obviously stopping the run. And that formula is working for us, but I think if you look at any team that wins championships, that's what they do. They they able to run the ball at will, and uh, you know they stop the run. To put it in perspective, the Pioneers are fifth in the nation in rushing, fourth in run defense. So through four weeks, that's how good they are uh, as far as defending and also uh, running the ball themselves. 
Uh, defensively, three touchdowns by the defense. I mean, you as you're the head coach now, but the linebacker coach for a long time, and that line put pressure on and yeah. forced turnovers and got points for your team. How much did you love that? That's great. Anytime you can score on defense, you know, it brings uh, it brings the team closer together, too. You know, the offense gets exciting, too, when you see the defense score. And, you know, I know we had three touchdowns on defense and two more that were called back. Uh, one we stepped out of bounds, so one that we actually scored, uh, but we had a flag thrown uh, on the return. So typically it could have been five touchdowns yeah. on the defensive side of the ball. But when you can score on defense, you know, that, that just brings the excitement for the whole team, and it just generates a lot of excitement. All right, here we go. Let's get into Week Five. Bucknell. What do we know about them, and what's the message to the team this week? Well, you know, they're again they're a Patriot League team. Um, great football conference. You know, obviously, I think the Patriot League plays outstanding football, and Bucknell's a good football team. I just, you know, I'm downstairs watching them now on film. Uh, they're very big up front. They have a great offensive line. Uh, they have a good running back that you know runs downhill, and he's a hard runner. I think it's going to be a physical football team. Um, they do, you know, they do run the ball and they set you up with the play action. Our team's got to be disciplined, but they got to know that they're in for a fight. And uh, again, it's going to be a physical football team. And any time that you know you go on the road to play a Patriot League team, you're going to face some adversity. And hopefully, our kids can come out on top and you know get after it with them and just play the whole four quarters and not wait for something to happen. Make something <laughs> happen this week at the beginning. Very good. Good luck, Coach, and uh, keep it rolling this week. Thanks, Mark Nofree, head coach of the Sacred Heart. Football team 4-0, looking to make it 5-0 again this weekend against Bucknell.